It's the time of year again when we get the frying pans out and specifically we eat even more unhealthy in Ramadan than usual and that's the crazy thing that we actually start to eat more unhealthy food than we do even on a normal regular basis so we're generally eating very unhealthy most of us and now we get the frying pan out we start eat overeating and I've even seen people eat drink fizzy drinks at uh, iftar time you know uh, sugary fizzy drinks um, and all of this is happening with family members, the elderly, uh, our parents, children around. So they're all uh, consuming this and seeing everyone uh, eat the same basically junk. The difference between food and junk is food is nutritious, junk has no nutrition or if it has anything it's been destroyed in the process, the manufacturing process. And then on top of that to make things worse as chemicals, additives, e-numbers and all the rest. Now, what's the key to eating healthy uh, in Ramadan and building that habit for the rest of the year? So one of the keys to eating healthy is to eat fruits and vegetables. We all know that. But there are really, really great ways to, to, to create salads and smoothies and juices. I know it sounds weird to have a smoothie for iftar and not have a, a fried samosa, pakora or something like that. But that's one of the things. The other thing is about eating things that are natural so more things that are in packaging in processed form uh, all those chemicals we don't even know what they do to our body one of the rules if you can't read it don't eat it so all of this changes now why is it important why should I eat healthy a lot of people say to me well I don't need to eat healthy you know I'm a good Muslim yes but Ramadan is about mind body and soul now the soul we are feeding it with inshallah with tahajjud and with salah and quran the mind when we're, we're hopefully not watching the sub we shouldn't be we don't think about backbiting we're not swearing we're not talking ill of people uh we're not thinking bad so the the soul and the mind but what about the body the body needs pureness and that purity is pureness even a word purity the purity of food um is not a choice it's the Quranic order. Allah says eat halal and tayyib, eat pure, eat halal and pure. We forget the pure bit, we always focus on the halal bit. So Allah says eat pure for a reason. Because if you eat pure, your body, your immunity is built. If you eat junk food, it's proven to weaken your immune system. If you have a weak immune system, how are you going to worship Allah? If you have a weak immune system, you're going to feel sluggish, lethargic, and even become ill, you weaken, weaken immunity and leading to other avoidable chronic diseases such as diabetes and heart conditions where we are causing this through eating junk and inappropriate foods and lack of other factors like um, lack of exercise and st maintaining stress levels. The reason this is so important uh, is that when you eat the right stuff you have more energy, you feel fresh you feel just as fresh as the food you're eating. So imagine you are what you eat. If you eat good stuff, you're going to feel good. If you have the energy from eating pure foods, you're going to be able to worship Allah more. You can be able to get up for tahajjud. You'll be able to pray more rakah in your salah. You'll be able to do more if you eat pure. So let's change the diet. And I know it's not easy to drastically change the diet, but it's incremental changes, the small changes in the diet will make a huge difference. So getting rid of sodas and fizzy drinks, getting rid of fried foods or cutting down at least and then moving towards having no fried foods, especially deep fried or changing the oil to a pure oil. So changing, there are other oils out there like rapeseed oil, olive oil may be expensive to fry with, but rapeseed oil is reasonably priced and healthier. So changing the oil, changing the diet for everyone's sake in the family. I see so many Muslims are overweight, getting sick, and in Ramadan they're putting weight on. This is no way Islamic whatsoever. Allah says, eat pure, let's do what Allah tells us to do. So we have a great Ramadan, a great health to maintain the good habits that we inshallah gain in this month. If you like this video, please share it, like it, subscribe, and let everybody know about this new series uh, on Dr. Dean TV. Assalamu alaikum. Dr. Dean TV.
TV Dr. Dean TV